Hello, today I'm going to show you some... Whoa, whoa, whoa. You think we're going to go right to the fun? No, we got to get through some science first. Today we are working with alkyl nitrites, which is alcohol and explosives. That's not right, but you'd think it would be. It's actually an ester between a saturated hydrocarbon, such as isopropyl alcohol, and nitrous acid. Boom. Now, we're working with nitrous, as opposed to nitro, the more explosive and fun older brother of nitrous. But, as you can see, you're connected to the oxygen or nitrogen. TNT, trinitrobenzene, RDX, nitroglycerin, and the more exotic high explosives are all nitros. Moral of the story, more nitro groups, exponentially more fun. Now, here is methyl nitrite, ethyl nitrite, isopropyl nitrite, butyl nitrite, isobutyl nitrite, amyl nitrite, and cyclohexyl nitrite. Now, nitrites can be used medicinally for cyanide poisoning or chest pain, or they can also be used recreationally. But now that that's all cleared up, it's on to the fun part. Hello, today I'm going to show you some nitrite, nitrite, I-T-E. It's a group of chemicals called alkyl nitrites, and they're very volatile, extremely flammable, and they are overall pretty cool. So I'll show you some stuff. See, I'll, I'll draw up about one cc worth of the liquid. And now I'll show you the cool color that this, uh, what this looks like when it burns. It's really interesting. It's a white, very white flame. And as you can see, it's very volatile. I can put a drop right over here on the side. Then I can hold my lighter here. Very white ghostly flame, that's very cool. It's almost green in color too. Okay, here's a big one. Whoa, that was hot. A little bit hints of, there we go, that's the flame color. A little bit orange from the isopropyl alcohol, but there you go, that's for some burning. And again, when I, um, Put a couple of drops inside of a water bottle. And then if I 